me, Val from Toy Roll, and today I am going to be doing the Monster High Haunted Spectra Blondergeist doll. And guys, if you know this doll very well, you know this Haunted Spectra doll is very rare. And Aunt Nicole has got me. So I'll read it. Oh, it doesn't have her body. <laughs> it says it has a dirty these are like the carnival dolls, but seriously, she is already. So okay, so let's open this and I'll be right back. <laughs> so I got her out of the packaging and oh my gosh, she is the most pretty spectrum bonnet, guys, I've ever saw in my life. So I'll do a little spin for you guys. Another little spin. So, um, accessories first, of course. She came with a haunted cone and a haunted stand, which makes them higher and float, and they look like chains. If you saw them, you know them. <laughs> so, I don't know where to start with the school. Oh my gosh. I guess we'll start by her face. So, she is so pretty. She just... She has a simple makeup look, but she's super iridescent, and ah, I wish I could look like her. Right now. She just has a very plain makeup look, just a little bit of pink eyeshadow with this darker red lipstick, and she has this beautiful purple hair. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So the one's put, it's in the high ponytail, and the rest is on the bottom, kind of like if you know that one, the Scare Master GG Grant, kind of like that, I did a review on Check her out. Oh my gosh. Then, she has pretty normal ears. Then, she, you go down and she has like this fish nutty mm, stuff for, and it's a one shoulder dress. And these chains, oh my gosh. They have like all sorts of different the tension chain stuff, but I mean, normally I take the chains off the haunted dolls. This one I'm keeping on. It makes the outfit. And then she has this beautiful. It kind of looks like stained glass or like snake skin, a little bit on her dress. Then she has her iridescent skin showing. And then oh my gosh, these boots! I need them, honey. They are these beautiful chain, detention chain boots, and they're just, they are, I, 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 you can tell I'm speechless about this doll. She is so pretty. I wanted this doll so bad, and I finally got her for Christmas. Yes. She's so pretty. So I'll put her back on her skin. And she's a pretty rare doll. She's up there with the Haunted Rochelle oil doll. It's just, she's pretty rare. Also, she has some light purple stripes in her hair. Sorry about the glare on her right now. Um, there's a lot of sun out right now. For Christmas, though. Weird. Weird. But it's cold, so, yeah. <laughs> and then, I, I, I just, so, I'll just, so there's like padlocks on her chains, and kind of like, they look like rectangles. And she just, oh my gosh. And there's little skullettes or skulls. They don't have the bow, so they're not skullette. <laughs> in the movie, her hair didn't look as good as here, because in the movie, you know, like how like, lawyers and that in old days had those curly wigs? It kind of looked like that in the movie, and I wasn't a fan of that. But I saw the doll, and she had this beautiful, just curly ponytail, pulled it down, and that's just super pretty. Knock it out, girl. So here is the Spectre Wonder Guys Monster High Haunted Doll, and she is super, super, duper pretty. I really recommend her, because she is just gorgeous. So that is my review on her, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and like and subscribe to Toy World. Bye!